everyone, it's Smitha. Welcome back. There is one blush technique that I'm obsessed with and I have to show you this technique. It literally takes your face from this to that soft focus, almost like a filter on your face, but in real life. And it gives you the most natural flush look. So I can't wait to show you. So without further delay, let's begin. Good makeup starts with skin prep and I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. This is the perfecting primer. They also have a blurring and a bunch of other different types under the Pure Canvas Primer. But I'm using the perfecting one and this is silicone free. You can of course use the primer that you use on a regular basis. You don't have to use the products that I use. You just have to follow the technique. If you have uneven skin tone and you don't want to get flashbacks or ashy tones, it's important to color correct. For my uneven skin tone today, I'm going to be using the EXA High Fidelity Color Corrector in the shade Peach. They also have other colors and you can look at the color wheel and see which one is more appropriate for your skin type. I'm going to use the Peach Corrector in areas where I have uneven skin tone. It's mostly around my mouth and under my eyes. And you will see the magic unfold. The Peach Corrector will combine with the blue undertones of my uneven skin tone and it's going to cancel it to bring back my skin to its normal tone. You can see what a difference it makes after applying that color corrector. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Super Stay in the shade Golden Door. I'm going to mostly dot it to the center of my face and blend it out using a flat foundation brush. This is a full coverage, long lasting foundation. Looks absolutely flawless on the skin, especially if you like full coverage. It is also transfer proof and super long lasting. Now with thicker foundations, I prefer to blend it out with a foundation brush, but of course you can use a sponge or you can also use your fingertips. With the residue that's left on the brush, I'm going to use that on my neck because I don't like too much foundation on my neck. I just want enough to even out my skin. Next, I'm going to be sculpting my face, starting with contouring. And for this, I'm using a deeper shade of concealer. This is 200N from ColourPop. I'm going to be using it in the circumference of my face by just taking a little bit in the back of my hand and I'm using my favorite foundation brush from Real Techniques to apply it. And then I'm going to be using the Milani Concealer. This is in the shade 135. A lot of you ask me if I'm using 135 now. I I currently am because I've run out of 145. That's my perfect shade, but I don't have it right now. So I'm using 135, which is a tad lighter than my skin tone. I'm going to be using it to conceal under my eyes and around my mouth because we still have that peach tone from the color corrector. And the trick here is after applying the concealer, wait for about 30 seconds to one minute till it's a little bit dry before you blend it out. That gives you more coverage. And now I'm going to be doing my favorite blush technique. And this is the only way I'll be doing it moving forward. I'm taking some liquid blush. This is Grateful from Rare Beauty. I'm taking a little bit in the back of my hand, taking it with a sponge. It's a damp sponge. You can also use a brush if you prefer. And I'm going to dab it on the highest points of my cheeks. You can apply it wherever you do the blush placement usually. I like to use it on the high planes of my cheekbones. It's just the way I like it. But of course, you can use it on the apples of your cheeks. You can use it on the highest points. You can go way up, whatever you prefer. Now, just remember that I haven't set my face, including where I applied the concealer. Nothing is set. I've applied the blush. And this is when I'm going to start setting with powder. I'm going to be using the one size translucent powder. I'm loving the one size powders, including this as well as pressed powder. It gives you a flawless coverage. I'm taking with this tapered tip powder puff. This is from LH Cosmetics. Of course, you can use whatever you have. You can also use a sponge. And I'm going to start first setting the concealer under my eyes and then I'm going to slowly go over the blush and I will set my entire right side so we can compare it with my left side. When you apply it like this, even if you have applied a lot of blush, the powder goes over the concealer, over the blush and gives you that seamless blend. It almost looks airbrushed or filtered. Okay, do you see the difference? Do you see the difference between my right and my left? I, I get so excited doing this technique and it looks absolutely flawless in person. 
Let's go ahead and do it on the other side as well. And I know under my eyes that powder is looking really bright. That will mellow down because the skin is going to absorb some of that and it will settle down over time. Now that I'm done with the base makeup, I'm going to quickly set and lock this using a setting spray. I'm using Benefit Professional. I'm just using a generous amount and uh, this is also going to melt some of those excess powders that are sitting on the top layer of my skin and give you a more skin-like finish. I'm going to quickly do my brows, curl my lashes and apply lipstick and I'm going to be right back. You cannot beat this. It looks absolutely flawless. It's a viral TikTok hack. And I usually don't believe in hacks, but this one blew my mind. It was the one of the best that I've learned from TikTok. And it looks stunning. For my lipstick, I combined Standout as well as Bestie. Both are my collaborations with Ofra. And I applied a little bit of gloss. I'm going to link all of this in the description box right below this video. So do check that out. If you try this technique, please come back and let me know how it goes for you. I know you will love it. And if you enjoyed this video, please thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys.